Okay, everybody, it is The Last Raider. I am back with another video. And uh, I'd like to tell everyone right now, I've seen some discrepancies in my analytics and my notifications comparing them together. I've noticed two people have subscribed to the channel twice. I don't know why I'm not going to call those people out because I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is a YouTube thing that's happening. Um, if it's not, I'm not going to worry about it. it. It should iron itself out and I should see later. But if it is, I would like to ask everyone to just simply, for just, just to cover all the bases, I'd like to ask all of y'all to just check your notifications, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel, and if you're not, and you like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the and ring that notification bell. Anyway, on to the video. The Q Honey Badger Brace drama continues. Uh, right now, the Q Honey Badger stock brace, for those of you who don't know, the ATF originally said that this would be okay. Stock braces on AR pistols would be awesome, you know? Oh, yeah, you know, those are totally legal. And now the ATF has come down and said, uh, no, the Q Tactical Brace is not legal. Now, we really don't know why this is. There was an incident that happened before the bump stock ban where a guy built a bump stock and he put a spring in it to push the rifle forward. So all you have to do is pull the trigger. And the ATF come out and stated that that one spring was a mechanical upgrade that took away the need for basically, basically human operation and converted it to a machine gun. Don't know how it converts it to a machine gun, but um, they've made that notion. In this particular case, the ATF has not given any reasoning. They basically, as... Um, the guy that's running that was on that I've seen on channels and stuff. I think his name is Jarrett. Has said he goes, he says, well, you know, uh, it, it's kind of like we can send them a brace, but they're not going to give us any any intel or anything back of what we're doing wrong. So they're going to have to keep trying to figure out. It's almost a game of mastermind to an extent. If you've ever seen how mastermind works, you don't get to know what positions are wrong and what colors are wrong. You're just told two of your colors are wrong out of the full, out of the five you've got. And you're like, <laughs> okay, so I've got so many tries to figure this out. And I got, it, basically the ATF can just keep Q tactical bouncing around there, going back and forth, uh, wasting money in R and D and beyond. It was just an entire waste of time at this point because if there is a discrepancy and there is a problem, just tell them what it is and they'll fix it. But the ATF doesn't want to, probably because the ATF really doesn't have a reason at the moment. Now, good news coming out of this, the Trump administration has gotten involved. They're looking into it. I don't believe that Trump is going to do anything about this right now because it's at the beginning of the, it's, it's starting at the election. What I would like to remind people of though is this is not the Trump administration's ATF. This is the Obama administration, Obama Biden administration's ATF. So there's a possibility we got some deep state retard in there stirring up crap to try and interfere with Trump. What I will say is if Trump wins, I don't know if he is, so y'all best go out there and vote like crazy because yeah, Trump did ban bump stocks, but Joe Biden's going to put your gun right is going to put all decisions on your gun rights in the hands of Beto O'Rourke. So it's it's hell yeah, we're taking your AR-15 and AK-47 versus we think the bump stock might be a bad thing. It's a, it's a shit sandwich, but the other shit sandwich has more shit on it. <laughs> so it's like, which one do you want to swallow? Would you rather would you rather get rid of? Would you rather eat down one tur a single turd shit sandwich, or a quadruple turd shit sandwich? Lesser of two evils, you know what I'm talking about here. But going back to this. I do think that there will be something happening after the election because one thing that Trump is, if nothing else, he is vindicative about things. And I would like to see him take some righteous vengeance on the ATF, maybe go in there, do some firing, do some hiring. He's done this to the FBI before. He's done this to the CIA before when they came after him. ATF has pretty much fired a shot in the hopes that they can torpedo his election with 2A supporters enough that Trump will fail, Biden will get in, and then they'll get Beto O'Rourke to come in, and they can come kick down doors and Ruby Ridge all of us at will. That's what I think they're probably hoping. What I hope will happen is that most gun supporters will not freak out, don't panic, 
take the ATF to court, do this calmly, effectively, and with discipline. And Trump may eventually go in there afterward, be pissed off and be like, you know, you're not going to cause me problems anymore. Director, you're fired. Second in command, you're fired. Lieutenants are fired. Restructure everything. We'll put that guy from over in Maryland. Who is his name? Oh, yeah. His name is Jarrett from Gadgets and Gadgets. We'll put him as head of the ATF. That would be a dream. <laughs> I like Jarrett from Guns and Gadgets. I think he'd be perfect for the. I think he'd be perfect for the ATF. He's got law enforcement experience. I say he'd be perfect to put in there. But make that a suggestion if you call if you contact Trump and do that. Make that a suggestion. You know, we've got a YouTuber named uh, Jarrett. He runs a 2A show. He's he's real diehard on two. He understands the Second Amendment and understands all the legal jargon of it. We would like him to be, we, we, we would feel comfortable with him being the ATF agent making decisions over our Second Amendment rights. Jared, it'd, be, it'd just be really good irony. And I think it's one, and some people say, you know, this is a long shot. But you know, Trump has been one of those people that will do things to the left just to piss them off. And this would irritate them to no end. And I think it has a high chance of winning. Anyway, folks. Just want to give you some somewhat good news on the 2A front. You know, Trump is looking into, apparently this is, Trump has recognized there's a shot been fired at him during this election. This has been an attempt to torpedo his election, and he's taking notice of it. And in my opinion, a lot of times it's not going to be, have somebody who can and will fire, will, can and will take your job from you, take notice of you. Anyway, folks. I'm the last Raider. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As I said before, hit that bell for notification. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.